Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Botany for NEET. Let us solve a question asked in NEET examination. First, let's read the question. Given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion and the other is labeled as reason. Let's see what the assertion says. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is used at two steps in glycolysis. Reason given. First ATP is used in converting glucose to glucose 6-phosphate and the second ATP is used in conversion of fructose 6-phosphate into fructose 1,6-diphosphate or fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. In the light of the above statements, choose the correct answer from the options given below. So the first step is telling that during the process of glycolysis, ATP is utilized at two steps and what are the steps is given here so basically glycolysis is one of the step during respiration it occurs in both aerobic and anaerobic organisms it is independent of oxygen occurs both in aerobes and anaerobes and where does it occur inside the cell in the cytosol or the cytoplasm okay that's the site where glycolysis takes place so basically glycolysis is a process where there is lysis means breakdown of what glucose glucose is partially getting broken down into pyruvic acid Okay, glucose is a 6 carbon compound. It is getting broken down into a 3 carbon compound. During this process, there are several steps where ATP is taken, where ATP is utilized and some steps where ATP is released or given out. Okay, so in order to answer the question, first we need to know what are the steps involved in glycolysis. Okay, so see here, glucose this is the cycle of glycolysis that this actually takes place in the cytosol okay so glucose gets converted into glucose 6 phosphate a phosphate group is added who is providing this phosphate atp which is called adenosine triphosphate energy source produced by mitochondria okay adenosine triphosphate this atp gets converted into ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and releases the inorganic phosphate. This inorganic phosphate is accepted by glucose, which is a 6-carbon molecule, to form glucose 6-phosphate. So, one ATP is utilized here. Okay. Next, glucose 6-phosphate is getting converted into fructose 6-phosphate. Here, isomerization is taking place. Same chemical formula, but different, like same formula, but different structure, glucose and uh, glucose 6-phosphate getting converted into fructose 6-phosphate. One is an aldehyde and the other one is a ketone basically. Fructose 6-phosphate gets converted into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate or diphosphate. Again, there is one more phosphate which is added at first position here. Who is providing this phosphate? ATP only. It is getting converted into ADP and inorganic phosphate and giving this inorganic phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. So, two ATPs are utilized during this step. After that, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate or diphosphate gets converted into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, which is a 3-carbon molecule. Till now, the other molecules that we have discussed, whatever molecules, they are all 6-carbon. Glucose is 6-carbon, if you see. And uh, glucose 6-phosphate is also a 6-carbon compound. And fructose 6-phosphate is 6-carbon compound. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, 6-carbon compound. Now, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate gets converted into two molecules here breakage occurs like in the presence of aldolase enzyme it gets converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate okay one molecule of this one molecule of this but this dihydroxyacetone phosphate also gets converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate that gives you two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate i hope you are understanding one molecule of fructose 1 6 bisphosphate which is six carbon molecule gets converted into one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate which is a three carbon molecule and another molecule of dihydroxyacetone phosphate dihydroxy acetone phosphate which is 3 carbon this dihydroxyacetone phosphate also gets converted 
as glyceraldehyde three phosphate. As a result of which now two molecules of glyceraldehyde three phosphate are present. The two molecules of glyceraldehyde three phosphate gets converted into one three bisphosphoglyceric acid. Where one three bisphospho this is an oxidation step where uh, glyceraldehyde is getting oxidized into acid. So. This occurs in the presence of glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, where G3P gets converted into phosphoglyceric acid. Phosph one three bisphosphoglyceric acid gets converted into three phosphoglyceric acid. That means what? The phosphate attached at first carbon is released, and that adds to ADP to form ATP. So two ATP are formed here during the conversion of one three bisphosphoglyceric acid. Into three phosphoglyceric acid. Three phosphoglyceric acid gets converted into two phosphoglyceric acid. Two phosphoglyceric acid gets converted into phosphoenol pyruvate. Phosphoenol pyruvate gets converted into pyruvic acid. Again, here there is loss of phosphate group. So here again ATP is released out. So total how many ATPs are released out? Four ATPs are released. But how many are actually utilized? That is two ATP are utilized. So what is the net ATP that is generated during this glycolysis? Process the net ATP that is generated is two ATP. Finally, okay. Now let's see the question. So these are the steps which are involved. Where you can say one minute. All these steps involve ATP utilization, and the remaining steps you can say generation of ATP. Now see the question. ATP is used at two steps of glycolysis. Yes, it is indeed used at used at two steps in glycolysis. Where are they used ATP? Conversion of glucose to glucose six phosphate. Here ATP is utilized, and one more ATP is utilized for converting fructose six phosphate to fructose one six bisphosphate. So two steps ATP is utilized. That is correct. In two steps ATP is utilized. ATP is used. What are those two steps? Glucose getting converted into glucose six phosphate, where both are six carbon compounds, and one more is where fructose six phosphate is getting converted into fructose one six diphosphate or bisphosphate. Okay, here also ATP is utilized. So at these two steps, two ATP are being utilized. Okay. So ATP is utilized at two steps in glycolysis. Very much true. What is the reason? First ATP is used in converting glucose into glucose six phosphate. Yes, and the second ATP is used in conversion of fructose six phosphate into fructose one six bisphosphate. Both A and R are true. Okay, this is false. This is also wrong. A and R are true. Now ATP is used at two steps because first ATP is used in converting glucose to glucose six phosphate. And the second ATP is used in converting fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. So both A and R are true, and R is correct explanation of A. So which option is correct? Option one correctly uh, is the right answer, which explains that during glycolysis process, there is two ATPs that are being utilized and four ATPs which are being generated, but the net ATP that is generated is only two. And where are these two ATPs utilized? They are used in conversion of glucose to glucose 6-phosphate and fructose to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. So option one is the correct statement. I hope you understood the answer or the solution for this question. Please feel free to comment your doubts. Thank you. Have a good day.